exactly. <laughs> I stumped him, folks. I stumped Paul with a very intellectual comment about how his camera might be tilted because the Earth is actually spherical. For I feel like the Earth is bigger than that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it is Thursday. It's Apple Earnings Day. I suspect they're going to make some dollars. Oh, was that today? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. No, when wait, is that today? I, it was I think today. it might be next week. I thought wait. it was next week. When? I feel like we've already had this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we might have, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's next week because I think um, no, no. Uh, Google will nope. happen. No, nope. it is today. Thursday, January 27th, 2022, according to Bing. So it could actually be next week. Uh, oh, my God, it is actually uh, oh, it's really getting really late in the month. So wait, when's Google's? Next week. I thought next week. Huh. Yeah. Like Google's is next week and so I think Amazon announce is it next until week. February. That's kind of unusual. Yeah. Maybe. So Amazon's that must be after that. Yeah. I know Amazon's yeah. always after Apple. I thought Google was usually before. Doesn't matter. Well, Microsoft used to do it always what on a Thursday for a while. That's that's true. And then that's they true. did like a random Wednesday, which just completely ruined my life. And then I, now, I do it. I do Windows Weekly on Wednesday. Talk about screwing everything up. And now they've decided Tuesdays. I yep. that was, there was well, I that's good for me. I wonder how many but, meetings they had to decide to shift it to Tuesdays. I'm going to go with a lot. Like, how little can we get away with disclosing these days? Oh, oh nothing. Geez. Oh, perfect. Let's do that. Don't worry, Paul. Let's they use have a percentage of an imaginary number. 1.4 billion Windows devices. I'd love it if they tell us how many like are Windows 10 and. Windows, oh, there's no way. Windows, right. they're, they're not, they would never. There's no way. Never. Windows 11 has entered its final phase of broad deployment. Uh, huge success. How many did you sell? Oh, my times. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to get up into those details of yeah. um, specifics that just know. You know, the numbers that would prove your assertions, those things. Uh, they did announce, though, Microsoft did announce that they are going to be updating Windows 11. <laughs> Not just once a year, because I don't know what you want to call this update, non-update that's coming out in February. Yep. yep. Uh, but you're going to get your widget on the taskbar. You're going to get your Android, iOS, yeah, Android apps, not <laughs> iOS apps. Android apps on Windows 11 in and some other fixes or something. Yeah. So I have to go back and reread this post because we were talking about this yesterday. Mary mm -hmm. Jo was saying, you know, the, the Android app thing is a preview, which is yes. fine because... Honestly, we know how that will go because we can. We've seen how they did it in the Insider program. So, through the store, mm -hmm. you have to go find it. You have to go say, "Oh, that's interesting," and install it. It's the right way to do it. But you know, like seriously, dude, like two apps, two of the most. I mean, I use Notepad every day, but I mean, mm -hmm. not I, Notepad is so basic of an app. I wrote a version of it, and it's fine. So, Notepad and Media Player, like really, mm -hmm. who the heck uses the former Groove? You know. The artist right, formerly so known as Windows Media Player. Yeah. And then is it two? I think it's three features, right? You mentioned the uh, weather weather in the taskbar, right? Which, mm -hmm. by the way, absolutely fine. Useful. I get it. People. But not a major feature, right? The mute, unmute switch to the taskbar. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, not a major feature. But, oh, and by the way, useless because only Teams works with it. <laughs> and it's not universal, like they said last June. Literally use that word. Uh and then what was the other one? There's a third uh, feature. So weather teams are a mute and whatever the third one is. Like these are just. Yeah. I. So anyway, you're, you're wondering how they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean. Oh, he froze. So this is weird that this happens with you. I wouldn't normally think it's me because, you know. Yeah. In Mexico and whatnot, but I don't know. It doesn't happen. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's almost like Microsoft hates us because they know we're talking about them. They're like, this guy, he said something it's like negative. It's like an undersea cable that heads toward Ohio and it's been some fishes nibbling on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> fishes. It's, it's in Lake Superior. Just <laughs> I, Who knows? I, Either anyway, way, at least. I, I'm glad. Look, I'm glad they're doing it. Yeah. I, I want them to do more of it. I They should. The, the 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 well aside from the Android the, the Android thing is big and it's only mm. in preview that's we'll just put that to the side because it's not as big of a deal these other three things and the two apps this, that could happen every month there are so many regressions and missing features and 
things that should be implemented in Windows mm -hmm. 11, that they could do this every month until October and then call the culmination of all that stuff the feature pack, the feature, sorry, the feature update. Mm -hmm. You know what? I was thinking about this uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. There's a story to be told of the lost, it's not a decade because it wasn't a decade, but the timeline between Terry Meyerson leaving everything that happened with Windows, and then all of a sudden Windows 11 comes out, and it's like, hey, the PC, like, Microsoft's out here triumphing, the PC is back. It's like, well, you guys abandon it. Like, They literally just... abandoned it. Just to put this in perspective, when Terry left, no one took over yeah, running Windows directly. split up directly. Like, among three people or something no like that. No one representing Windows was on the senior yeah. leadership team. The, I, are you kidding me? This company's <laughs> most iconic product and historically important product still generating several billion dollars in revenues mm -hmm. by doing nothing on Microsoft's part, let's face it. Mm -hmm. Total B-teamers running the show over there the whole time. And yeah, now the, now the PC is important. Hey, thanks for catching up with the rest of us. Guess what? The PC's always been important. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Crazy. Sh vomited out a tweet yesterday, and it kind of got, as you'll be shocked by this, slightly... Uh, misconstrued by people who are reading it that didn't quite understand. But anyway, so iOS, <laughs> there's like 1.6 billion devices. Android, there there's 3 billion. And Microsoft said there's 1.4 billion Windows devices out there. Yeah, 1.6, by the way, is all Apple devices. It's yes. not just iOS. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the, the thing I want to point out, though, is I think it can be pretty easily argued that a mobile phone these days is an essential piece of art. Like, mm -hmm. you kind of have to have one. Like, there, there's no way around it at this point in life. You, you got to have it. Everybody who has a Windows phone out there, or, or a Windows phone, and that hurts, <laughs> a Windows device, like a yes. laptop, like this here or whatever, Okay. they have actively chose to buy that machine because they because they wanted it not because they needed or, it well, maybe need it right for work or something or potentially school. but it's more yeah. so than say an i like a mobile phone like it's a it's a conscious choice to go out and get one it's just a, a slight differentiation yeah. of of the figures yeah no I, I look it's it's one of the top three for sure it's um I mean, I rely on, I mean, I'm a writer, so whatever, mm -hmm. I rely on it. But I mean, I, there's something to be said for a big screen. Something to be said for a full-size keyboard, you know? Yeah. Something to be said for the precision of a mouse or a, a trackpad or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I yeah. I, Notice I you know. didn't say but, touch bar, folks. Just... No, there's not, there's not, there's very little to be said <laughs> for the stupidity of a touch bar. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like the little colors in the keyboard. It's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. I, I've always struggled with this kind of right tool for the job bit. I mean, when the iPad first came out, it seemed so non-essential. And I honestly, I would argue for people who own a PC, it is non-essential. Um, but it, it fills a role, you know, um, phones obviously are important, although they're, you know, as with all technology, there's kind of a, I'll call it a Luddite movement, not to, not to, you know, be mean to those people, mm -hmm. but I kind of push back against how pervasive this technology is and how uh, we've all been to restaurants or parks, you know, people are just sitting there with their phones. Mm -hmm. They're not paying attention to each other at a dinner or they're uh, not paying attention to the kids playing on, you know, kick playground equipment or whatever. Um, they're sitting in their cars looking at phones. They're standing in line at a supermarket looking at phones. Actually, no one goes to supermarkets. They have other people do that for them. That's They do that on their phones. Um, so there's a pushback against it. But yeah, I mean... I don't know. Even yeah. like a little Nokia candy bar phone would solve a problem. I mean, you got to be able to reach people. Uh, or the fact that you can reach people immediately is so important and so mm -hmm. vital. Not having that seems, you know, potentially dangerous even. Yeah. But yeah, uh, whatever. There's an immaturity to it, I think, with our relationships with devices and technology. Sure. And PCs have been around for a long time. We get it. You know? mm -hmm. We know what they're good for. Mm -hmm. They make money. They sell really? lots of them. Now the question becomes is what's sure. going to happen here in the next couple of years. But I mean, I think we all kind of keep saying that's like, ah, well, next year it'll it'll fall off again, or maybe it's just, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just be whatever. Maybe yeah, people, I mean, we're, look, we're, like we're looking 11. for trends, but yeah. it's hard. To, yeah, it's hard to predict. And no one could have predicted. Well, actually, that's not true. People did predict this pandemic, but they didn't think about it in terms of technology for mm -hmm. sure. So the stuff we obsess over. Yeah, I don't know. I um. 
I'm glad to see the PC doing well again. Um, I feel bad that it took a pandemic for for that to happen and for people to realize these things were important. Yep. Um, what will happen in the long term? I don't know. I think like iPads and other tablets are going to continue to evolve. Those can become computers for a lot of people. That's fine. There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. I bet Even we see phones, yeah. a similar market trend in the mobile. Well, we're already starting to see it that impacted PC earlier. It used to be, we'll go back, we'll just pick a random time, especially because I'm relevant during it, uh, early 2000s. <laughs> like I was conscious building PCs right then. There yeah. was year over year, there was a pretty dramatic difference in what you would get in a PC from a performance perspective. And then, I don't know, yeah. like 2008, 2010, somewhere <laughs> around there, like the performance characteristics really started to level off. Not because people right. just didn't need more power. It was fine. And so that need to update a PC every two years has really gone out the window. It used to yeah. be like that for mobile phones. Every year was just such a massive difference. And last phone prior to this one was the first time I went three years without updating because it just I didn't need to. Yeah, because, right. Because when these things are new, the the advances are quick and, and yeah. dramatic. And then over time, it matures. and. Yeah, PCs, I mean, I'm going through all the history stuff lately. I mean, I've forgotten mm-hmm. some of this stuff, obviously. But, you know, in, around the year 2000, one of the needs that Microsoft had was for PCs to be quiet. <laughs> you know, they were saying, look, this is going to be a device you're going to just going to leave it on all the time. It's going to go into these power management states and it will be fine. You know, back in the day, we would just, you know, turn it on. You do the little thing and you turn it off, mm-hmm. you know. Um, even, you know, and I'm going to write about this uh, later this week, but. This computer I'm using here is a, a review unit thing I got from uh, HP last year. And, um, you know, I like it. But honestly, it's had problems. Right now, I can hear the fan going. Mm. When I got up this morning, it was sitting here. I left it open like this because it hasn't been – sometimes I pick it up. It's a little warm. Mm-hmm. It's obviously come on in the night or something. And in its open state, I could see the screen was on, on the lock screen. And when I turned it on, it had rebooted or something because all my apps were closed. And it's like, okay, 2021, great. So I don't know what's going on with this thing. But, um, you know, you don't expect it to behave like this. But, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, there it is. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, the only thing I do know is that tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, thank God. Yeah, it is.